Mr. These are the luckiest people to ever live. Jimmy. This is the world's largest TNT explosion. Beast. Donaldson. I recreated every single set from Squid Game in real life. It is, well, to put it simply, incredible. As a longtime Mr. Beast fan, I can say without a doubt that he's one of my favorite YouTubers. And, in a lot of ways, an inspiration for future content creators. Everything from his camera work to the premise of the videos are interesting and very fun to watch. I mean, I could watch 20 of them in a row, and I would find all of them as equally or even more entertaining than the last. Which goes to show how much effort Mr. Beast puts in his videos. In a way, he's a pioneer of, well, a piece of content I like to call a spark and a dream as even the simplest things can be done with huge success today we're gonna talk about one of those historical ideas that pioneered youtube content and how i challenged myself to win at all costs at a little thing known as a mr beast community event It was May 12th, 2020, that Mr. Beast made an announcement that would create a new form of content for everyone to enjoy, community Minecraft events. That's right, they created a Discord for a silly block game where you can get accepted to win real money from the man himself. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm talking about this. Well, I've been in the Discord since September of 2020, which means that I've been very unlucky. Thousands of events have gone by and I've been chilling, waiting for that message that says you've been accepted. Meet in the VC in five minutes. Now, I do want to note that I have tested for some Mr. Beast videos, like the Squid Games video on Mr. Beast Gaming and the Battle Royale video, but I've never been in an official event. Maybe it's due to my incredible muscles. <laughs> or my big brain. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's probably not the reason, but I mean, it's funny to think it was. Now, this is where Fortnite comes along. You see, Fortnite created Icon Skin, which are cosmetics based on certain celebrities and content creators. These cosmetics go from simple to incredible, but there's more. When you become part of the Icon series, Epic Games won't just put you in their item shop. They will allow you to make a tournament. And when I mean you make it, I mean you can make it anything. Want to smack some people with pickaxes? Boom, tournament. Want to relive being the king of traps? Boom, tournament. Want to replace people's weapons with rubber duckies? Boom, tournament. So when Mr. Beast was teased in the Chapter 4 trailer, people were hyped, and for a good reason. Testo skill. It was announced that along with News Cosmetics and Mr. Beast joining the battle would be in a million dollar tournament. And if you know me, you know I didn't just want to participate. I wanted to win. But you're probably thinking, well, Ronan! You can't! And you're right. Under normal circumstances, this event would be impossible to complete. Reason? Competitive Fortnite. Competitive Fortnite is a whole separate game. I mean, watch this. Water and water and water, water, water and water and water, water, water and water and water, water, water and water and water, water. Water and water and water, water, water and water and water, water, water and water and water, water, water. Do you think I can pull that off? Really, think about it here. This guy is running on like eight pounds of coffee. Do, do you even think I drink coffee? No. So, case in point, how the hell am I going to win this? And that's a good question. I mean, the only way I could win is by getting lucky and having an event take place in Fortnite's game engine. And it's not like, holy shit. 
So as many could have guessed, this event was heavily based on several previous Mr. Beast challenges that involved strength and stamina. These challenges were split into three areas, survival, mini games, and the end game. Survival, as the name implies, is you surviving many obstacles thrown at you. Firewalls, bumpers, dancing, more bumpers, dancing in a certain area, basically a normal Friday night twister session. Then you have mini games. They're all different, but don't worry, I'll go over them quickly. Collectathon. We collect coins on ice while trying not to get knocked off. TNT run. Tiles break underneath you. Red light, green light. Uncle Ben, what happened? Mr. Beast Edition. The floor is lava. A game where people make furniture their greatest ally and worst nightmare. Watch this, guys. I'm gonna jump off this couch and land on my feet! Dropper, break a leg! Or two, giant maze, I can see my house- oh wait, where am I? And finally, find the briefcase. You ever have a lemon? Why the fuck is it round? Now, these minigames may seem hard, but in reality, they're pretty easy. This is due to several cheat sheets online and just muscle memory after playing for a long time. And finally, there's the end game. After you survive the challenges, you must complete the ultimate challenge. Ordering from Burger King. Oh yeah, and also doing a triathlon, but mostly ordering from Burger King. Now knowing all this, you would think I would be able to win this easily. Well, if you know me, then you know that I make things more difficult than they need to be. You see, I only got a little bit of practice in before the event due to me having the greatest trial to face the following day. Math. Those darn numbers. Understanding them is like a puzzle. The X factors and the Y axis with different processes to complete. It's incredibly difficult to understand to the point of frustration and sadness. So I had to practice as little as possible and hope for the best. As I logged onto my PC 30 minutes before the event, I was prepared. I had done my homework, seen the cheat sheets, and was ready for what Mr. Beast had to throw at me. But little did I know how difficult this event was gonna be. But hey, difficult's my middle name. It's not like I was gonna die. Okay. As I was saying, it's not like I'm gonna- Okay, as I was continuing to say, it's not like I'm going to- So, my first few rounds were not the best. Turns out there was a lot of thing of Fortnite players in the lobby. And not just one lobby, several lobbies. There were several I love Fortnite players in these lobbies. Cause yes, somehow, even cranking 90s Timmy over here has played fucking Mario Party. Not a surprise, though it's definitely annoying. And this did not help the fact that this event was three hours long. So not only did these kids waste my time, but I was slowly being left in the dust. Now, a normal person would react to this calmly. Take deep breaths in and out. Become one with their inner self before continuing the event. I was not that calm. I was worried, okay? I was being left in the dust. I probably had the lowest score possible that I could ever get, and well, things didn't look so great. But if there's one thing I knew, it's would I really let a five-year-old win a Mr. Beast event? Probably not. Not to mention they can't actually get money legally from Epic Games because they have to be 13 or older. But that's still my point. 
Was I really gonna let some five-year-old who comes home after school, plops their butt on the couch, doesn't even do their homework, and spends 12 hours a day playing Fortnite win this event? No. So I sat down and simply kept playing. Five minutes later. When the event ended, I was at a loss for words. Even in the high 90,000s, I did not get first place. I knew this was it. The leaderboard said I got top 3%. And though I was proud of my first tournament, I mean, getting 3% is nothing to scoff at, I knew it was over. I didn't win. So I closed my game, got up, turned off my PC and continued as if my day had started without the event. It continued as if nothing happened. But then, something happened. Two days later, I re-logged into Fortnite to see what was going on. And lo and behold, I still got something out of the event. I forgot to leave out that while collecting score and surviving and doing minigames during the event to win a million dollars, there was a secondary prize. For everyone who didn't win a million dollars, there was a chance to get a Mr. Beast umbrella. And somehow, I placed high enough to get the umbrella. So, I guess this goes to show, we win these!